Hey everybody, it's Jason with uh, Rotoboss. In this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to hook up and install the new drop brackets to utilize the Rotoboss and the Rotoboss Junior on your Thunder Nova 24. This new setup is a great way to utilize your Nova 24 to its fullest with the full size Rotoboss, Rotoboss Junior, and uh, with this kit, you'll be able to do basically everything you'd be able to do on the larger Nova machines, with the exception of obviously longer items, which you're limited you're limited to by the width of the the actual laser itself. But otherwise, you'll still get the same functionality out of both rotaries um, on your Nova 24 now. All right, this is kind of a little glimpse of what we'll be doing today. I know the lighting's not that great. I'm sorry, everything's black. But you can kind of see where everything's sitting. How it's sitting. Doing a quick little tutorial here for the uh, new adaptation for the Rotoboss and Rotoboss Junior for the Nova 24. Um, you got here, just got the Rotoboss Junior. Not much else is going to be different as far as the setup goes for the um, Junior or the Rotoboss. They're both the same size and both have the same setup principle. So what you're going to get in the kit is you're going to get some hanging brackets that fit onto the blades. You'll need two blades. Uh, a 2 millimeter, 2.5, and a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. And the first thing we're going to do is when you get your Rotoboss, Rotoboss Junior, it's going to have magnet feet on it. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and take those mount feet off. These will be with a 2.5 millimeter. Just unscrew them slightly. They'll rotate out of the slot and they'll come right off. Now you could do this with with them on or off. It doesn't matter, but for best results you'd want to take them off. All right. Next in your kit, you're going to have four captive T-nuts. Those are going to slide into your track here. As you can see, we've got one of them already in there. You want the hole facing towards the outside of the rotary. And to put these in, you drop them in the track and just slightly rotate them, and they'll, they'll fall right into spot. And they won't come out. Now after you have all four of them in, you'll go ahead and take your two back brackets for your motor. And those are going to go in just like this with the blade hanging portion out to the back. You'll take the provided M5 screws. For now you just want to leave them kind of loose you're going to need to adjust them. All right, since these kits are usable on different types of rotaries, when you get them, they're all going to come the same. But when you put the two on this end, you're going to want to take this apart here. Sorry, the lighting is not the best. We'll make it work. So you take that off. And these are adjustable. So for the junior, they're going to come on the two lowest spots. 
Um, for the rotor boss, you want to put them up on the two higher spots. So they'll come down like that. For the rotor boss, you want to put them up on the highest spot. Just like that. So now, you take that and flip it over. with these they will have to go a little bit lower and they can be adjustable so if you need more room or more tilt on one end or the other especially for the junior you can do that pretty easily with these Once you got those tightened down, this is what you should be looking at. This side on, get these all set up the correct way. Now what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and mount them on the inside of the rails. Not like the back here where they're on the outside. Make sure everything's nice and loose. We'll take you over to the machine because what you're going to do, you flip it over, you'll go ahead and take one of your bars, go ahead and slip it into place, take your second bar, slide it into place. Then you're going to take it to the machine. All right. Now when you're putting this in there, you want to make sure your motor's to the left. And putting it into the laser. Position of everything really doesn't matter right at this point. Because you got to make your adjustments. Once this is all set up, you won't have to make any adjustments anymore. You literally... We'll just plop plop the blades down in sorry trying to work around the camera and all that stuff in this small area is kind of hard but all right, so here's where you'll go ahead and get everything centered up. There's a several different ways you can do that. You can take the gantry, bring it up, use the straight edge of the gantry, looking down on the rotary. Now everything's lined up. You're going to take your 2 millimeter. Alright, so once you got your Allen wrenches, there's grub screws on the inside of this arm. Good. 
Grub screw. Tight, make sure the brackets all the way pushed down. Tighten the grub screw. The grub screw locks the assembly onto the rotary or onto the blade. That way, when you remove the blade and put them back in, everything's in the exact same spot each time. Once those are tight, you can go ahead and do this two uh, two different ways. Really, you can raise the bed all the way up so you can reach them with a wrench. You take a three millimeter wrench. I should I hit the auto focus stop? So you'll take your three millimeter wrench. Come up underneath. Tighten it down. Tighten that one down. Once you get all four done, everything's locked into place. Once all it's locked into place, you can double check your alignment. Just make sure you lower it down so you don't hit the. Bring your gantry forward. Look down the gantry, make sure everything's still straight, and you're good to go. Take a little bit of time to get it set up, but like I said, once it's set up, literally all you do, reach in, pull it out, put your honeycomb bed back in with the rest of your knife blades, and then when you want to put it back in, Pop it down in, everything's in place, you're ready to roll. The way this is done is done the same way with the Rotoboss. Um, so there's no difference between the two as far as how this is done. Um, this is obviously the different ones. Like right now, let's see if we can take you off here and look, let you see. Alright, so if you look down here, you'll see this one is on the bottom two. So what this is doing, these are on the bottom two, and the bottom two of this. All right. Now this side is on the bottom two, or the top two, and then the bottom two of this. So what this is doing is putting this at a downward angle, so it'll give you more throw when you're trying to level stuff here for different kinds of objects, like water bottles, things like that. When you're doing the rotor boss, you want to make sure that both sides are just like this one where you're at the top of the bracket and then the bottom of the hanger which is this piece right here so both sides will be the same as far as that positioning remember these hangers or these brackets get mounted on the inside of the feet on the sleeve wheel side and then these get flipped around from this direction is this So just for reference, this is how they come when well, they're assembled here because they're used. You can use them several different ways, but this is the best for this. Um, this is how they come. You want for the rotor boss, you want it to look exactly like this. You want it to be on the top, and then the bottom two on the hanger itself, and then the other side will be just the opposite. You'll have the bracket, same thing, top of the bracket, bottom of the hanger, but the hangers 
the hangers flipped around the other direction. Let's see if I can. If you look at them there, you can see the difference. This is your motor side, this is your slave wheel side. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or problems, uh, let me know. Like I said, this takes a little bit to set up, probably about eh, 30 minutes to get everything set up, lined up, and then tightened down. Um, but again, just make sure that you put all this stuff on, put the blade in, set it in, then you're going to straighten it. Either you can do it from the center of the blade clamp and the center of the heel plate, or you can also do it by looking down the edge of your gantry. So you'll be looking down the edge, get it straight across there, you got an even gap. It's telling you it's straight with the gantry. And then once all that's done, tighten everything down, recheck it, and then uh, all you have to do is take the blades out with the rotary attached to it when you're not using it. And then uh, take all the other blades out, set these two in there, right in place, you're ready to go. Shouldn't have to do any alignment. Granted, you probably want to check it once in a while because things can get knocked out of whack depending on how you're storing it. Um, but that's pretty much the easiest way to, to set it up. You can also take it off the blades here. Um, I would recommend marking it with a marker or something so you know where to line them back up with if you want to do it that way. But if you're sacrificing two of the blades, you're not really losing much as far as how you can utilize the knife bed when you're cutting. Um, so, yeah. So anyways, so that's just a quick rundown of, of what you get and how to install it. And uh, these are completely 100% adjustable. So you can move it back and forth, back and forth on the machine from side to side. Um, just make sure that the motor plate and assembly is on your left hand side slave wheels to your right you'll still have complete functionality of your lead screw you can turn it several different ways or you can push it back or simply push it forward release the washer on the back side and quickly pull it away you still have your adjustability. Same thing, you can push it forward and fine tune it with your lead screw. Alright, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was informative and helped you figure out how to install the new drop brackets for your Rotoboss and Rotoboss Junior. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on Facebook or YouTube as well as email at rotoboss at outlook.com. Reach out to us anytime. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.